In this video, I'm going to show you my mobile live and studio setup. Um, the heart of this really is the PA, which actually I'm using the mixer from the PA, but the PA allows me to do live stuff and the mixer uh, allows me to do what I'm doing now, which is to record. Um, now the PA is connected to the digital interface. So this is what's actually connected to the phone right now that I'm recording with. Um, the back that is connected thusly, the, this is actually just going to the PA. It's turned off now because this is when I want to listen back. And this is just the, uh, the USB connection that is running to the phone. And the phone, of course, has one of those stupid um, Apple uh, camera connectors, which allows you to power the unit while you run a USB into it. And the USB, of course, is coming from this. Um, and I might as well go over what we got going here. This is the drums or the SPDSX. This is the microphone that you're hearing from me now. Oops, this is the drums. Channel one, channel two is the, uh, the microphone. And then all the way over here, we have the actual monitor coming from the Scarlett. And this is the actual audio coming from the iPad. Down here, this is the monitor out, and so the monitor out is this is actually all the instruments going out and into the focus right, and uh, that's it. Yeah, there's other, there's empty plugs here. Oh boy, I can make use of those. Um, all of this can run off of a Jackery or a Blue Eddy. The I have the PA running on a small Blue Eddy, the smallest Blue Eddy, and I have these things connected to a Jackery, the little Explorer, and I could run this stuff all day um, off of that. Of course, I'm in a house right now, um, so I'm using the AC. Uh, let's see, what do we got? We got the late, the M1 iPad. Um, you could, you probably use a cheaper one, get away with it. And, um, yeah, I'm still paying this dang thing off. Everything else is paid off here. The SPDSX, which allows me to sample, uh, whatever instruments I want to use, uh, which usually is bass or any kind of percussion piano, stuff like that. Uh, guitars, I'll usually run off the virtual or I'll actually play an actual guitar. The guitar can plug into this audio interface, which gives me the effects that are on board here. Um, or I can plug the guitar into here and get um, all kinds of amps and effects. Um, or I can plug directly into the PA. Um, of course, we got the kick pedal uh, that works with the SPDSX. Uh, we've got a nice condenser microphone, which I have to turn off if I'm going to play any of the instruments. Otherwise, you get this sort of a thing going. See, boy, there's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> That's noisy. So it, with the mic turned off, So the way to fix that would to be to get a headphone headset, perhaps. So uh, that's something in the future, maybe. Um, and anything else? No. So let me show you what all of this can do. And um, I do this for my own podcasts and for my own uh, performance stuff. 
um, but I can also utilize this setup um, for working with other people uh, with various audio projects such as uh, movie score compositions or um, creating uh, tracks for uh, other musicians or uh, creating music for people that need original music. Um, so here we go. Here's a little example of uh, what this particular setup can do. All right, that's my quick little uh, tour of my mobile um, live and recording setup. Now, of course, all of this could work almost by itself. So the SPDSX could work by itself or the iPad. <laughs> but having an interface and a way to uh, sort of like a loudspeaker system so other people can hear, oops, um, is quite nice if you ever need to do performances. Um, if you have any questions or even better ways to even consolidate this more and achieve the same thing, let me know in the comments. Um, I think that's it. No, I think that's it. Alright, I'll see you next video.